<laughs> hey boys and girls, welcome back. It's me, Keith, the Misprint Guy, and, and tonight I have a special guest. This is Scott Willis, and he is a magic player and judge, and uh, he is uh, you know, a friend of mine that lives close by. And we are also doing another uh, series of videos. It's called The Mini Masters, and so part of the reason why I have Scott here is to introduce him. And uh, he and I are playing... Uh, Pack Wars. So that is a new series of videos that we are doing, and we just want you to subscribe. So Yeah, we're uh, going to be playing every set that Magic has released so far. We're starting with the most recent recent set at the time of the uh, the channel started. That'll be Return to Ravnica, and we're working away all the way back to the beginning, all the way to Alpha. We're going to hit every single set Magic has released along the way. We're going to do Pack Wars, and even do some of the strange stuff in between that they've released. Um, the dual decks, uh, the premium deck series, uh, random things that you can play with. Uh, we're not going to be able to do like the From the Vault series because it contains 15 cards and there's not really a way to play those 15 cards together. So almost everything you could think of, we are going to do it in reverse chronological order. And uh, so far it's going well. As of this point we have what, 15, 20 videos? So, yeah, we have. Right. So what we will do is I'll provide a link down below, but it's The Mini Masters, also on YouTube. Sure. And don't worry, I'm still doing the misprints, but we have just branched out new new series and he and I are doing I mean we're we're pretty much the ones doing it. There are other people we bring in every once in a while, but it, it's us. So anyhow, uh, as I said, uh, I'm still doing what I am doing, and so tonight I'm going to be covering uh, filler cards. These are some uh, pretty weird looking cards you've got here. Yeah, I've got them right here in front of me. Um, now, the thing is, uh, what is a filler card? Uh, it's, it's something that is purposefully printed, but it is supposed to be tossed away. Uh, so let me just drop in some scans here of some of the uh, different filler cards out there. Um, now what we have on some of these cards, I mean, it's just something very basic, very stupid, very simple. And uh, they are, again, they are purposefully printed, but they uh, accidentally uh, got out. So now let me elaborate and explain to you what the purpose of the filler cards are. So uh, for those of you that understand what's going on as far as the printing process, the overwhelming majority of the time, cards are printed on an 11 by 11 sheet. And what that factors in, sometimes it's 10 by 11, but more than likely when we have cards that are mistakenly printed uh, or released as fillers, it's on an 11 by 11 sheet. And how that number is important. Well, we have, uh, you know, the numbers three, four, and five are evenly divisible by the number 120. And uh, so sometimes we have uh, a card that's left over. Now, as you would know, because we're doing with our, our series, uh, they have uh, pre-constructed decks. I mean, I'm sure most of you know by now that we have pre-constructed decks, and the key is, especially for the older sets, they are 60 cards. So 60 plus 60 is 120, and then we have this 121st card, and uh, you know here's some good examples right here uh, that end up in the in the you know on the sheet, and it ends up being waste. So 99.9% .9 of the time they get thrown away, and uh, sometimes they don't. So. Yeah, machine goes through and cuts all these cards out, and um, it, they all have to be special printed on one sheet. You can't really cut them out of uh, an existing sheet of random cards, because if you did that, it'd be really hard to, to pick out the ones that you need for each individual set, and then it'd change the balance of the random cards that are printed. So. Yeah, and I mean, we even have some weird uh, ones like from Plane Chase, it just says blank. So um, now that that is uh, something that I get a lot of emails about because people get these things and I hear people go, oh, you know, man, look at that blank card. That, that totally could have been a Jace. And it's actually not the case. Now, what I meant by the numbers three, four, and five being evenly divisible, uh, basic lands. See, now depending on the set, you know, you have five different lands, but you have, say, three versions or four versions. That happens in a lot of sets. So multiply that out evenly, you end up again with 120 cards. So then the land sheet, you know, that, that land spot that you get, well, that 121st card is just some stupid thing. And the, the thing that I have never have been able to figure out is why they don't just pick, you know, one type of filler card. They, they seem to come out with, you know, stripes, solid, M, 
you know, they just throw whatever the hell they want on there. It wouldn't surprise me if it were associated with uh, where it was printed, because I know a lot of these, they, they print in Belgium, they print uh, all sorts of different places. So. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that could be it, and I mean, there is some semblance of, you know, like, if it has a silver border, uh, that's unhinged, the solid silver, that's um, unglued. I mean, some of the some of the things obviously they make sense, and I mean we have like this one here with the, you know, it has Berlin. This is a rather rare one. I mean, those came from you know those world's decks from back in the day, but I mean, I just don't understand why some have X's and some have you know goofy lines like this. But I'm sure they have their reasons. Now, one of the things also that you have to worry about, see, I mean, the value of these. Uh, ranges in quite a bit depending on what goofy thing it has on it, you know, X, straight lines, solid lines, black, white, whatever. Um, it depends. But now one of the things that you need to understand, and a lot of the fillers that we see pretty often are cards here that just have, uh, you know, a solid white or a solid silver. And uh, this guy right here has some experience. Uh, you need to understand that a lot of these are self-made. Uh, you can you know, use some, you know, nail polish and clean off some old foils. And uh, so a lot of these cards that you see like this, there are legitimate versions out there, but the overwhelming majority of them are fakes. I mean, you know, hopefully they weren't doing it to deceive yeah. you, but... It, it's really an easy enough process. Uh, a little bit of acetone and a rag, you can take the ink off some cards in just a couple minutes. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know how well this, Yeah, I don't know how well this is showing up, but this is just solid silver. I mean, we yeah. have a magic bag. Because you are using acetone and a rag to wipe them off. Um, sometimes you can notice swirl marks on it where the, uh, the, the ink hasn't fully come off and it's actually just swirled in the place. So if you see uh, swirl marks on it or residue from a from what looks like might have been a card frame, then uh, it may just be that somebody de-inked it instead of uh, being a, a filler uh, filler card. Yeah, a true filler. And then some of the uh, foil cards from certain sets, you can almost just peel the foil layer off and you end up with something that is blank white. And again, there are legitimate fillers out there, but again, the overwhelming majority of them are not real. So these two right here are the types of fillers that you have to be very cautious and they're not worth much. Um, well, um, if you had proof of the, the silver one, you could pull that, uh, I, I'm assuming that would come from a, a premium deck series. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I possibly. Couldn't, couldn't think of anything else that's printed uh, full foil. Mm -hmm. than a premium deck series, unless there's potentially a complete set uh, that might have filler. Uh, if you got a, a complete set, all foil printed out. Yeah, and, and the thing is we have about, I don't know, at this point there's easily 30 different fillers. Um, I mean, I have most of them, but uh, the, the two that are, uh, well, not very easy to find, but these, these two M cards here are without a doubt two of the, the rarer ones to get, get your hands on, and they're well into the hundreds. So again, it depends on what type of filler you have, and, and hey, you know, if you happen to pull one, you know, great, I never have, I mean, you know. Maybe in this series we'll pull a couple. Yeah, who knows, <laughs> and uh, he's a judge, so hopefully he'll be, you know, working some larger events, and that seems to be where uh, a set is brand new. And uh, people always come up to me. It's really it was a lot of fun going to pre-releases because there was always some mistakes because you know it's day one and somehow they screw up. But um, you know that's really it. I just wanted to cover filler cards and let you know that yes, they exist. They are purposefully printed, but they are accidentally released. So that is uh, how these things like that happen. It is a leftover card. It's an uneven amount and they end up being printed on a sheet and then supposed to be thrown away and sometimes they're not. So um, that's really it. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to get a hold of me. And again, look for us on the Mini Masters and uh, we will see you soon, all right? So take care. All right, game with the guys later.